Hey guys, welcome back and today it is another exciting day because in today's video I'm going to try another holiday collection and this time I pick up the MAC Holiday blush. So I have the shade Priceless Purple and the Coveted Coral which is very exciting. If you've been on my channel, I get the most excited whenever I'm trying a blush and this one is a limited edition and I also picked up this one. This is their Guilty Pleasure Lip Gloss Trio. I'm very excited because I love their lip gloss and mine, I don't know, I kind of lost it. So just for the lip gloss, I picked up this one as well. It's a very good deal. So we're going to try that today. I did swatch them. They swatch really nice. And this blushes actually are the Skin Finish Metallic cream blush very exciting it is so holiday and i'm excited to try on review so because it is a review i'm going to give you a close-up look a swatch right after the application so you can see how it looks like when it is applied and between just the swatch so let's go ahead and start so first thing i have this lip trio very very cute i'm going to show you how they look like so these ones are the trio inside so as you know this is the lip gloss it's just a clear very glossy liquid and these two looks really pretty i thought i wanted to get this one to go with the blushes and of course i'm gonna give you a swatch for this because it is hard to see when it's far but here that is how it looks like I'll give you a better one Alrighty, so that is how it looks like. A little close up. There you go. It's nice, fine shimmer in it, and it has this like lilac color. And this one is really, really pretty as well. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, here's the swatch. Okay. So that's how it looks like. It's a bronzy kind of look, which is nice as well. It has more of a glittery, bigger glitter in it compared to the first one. Okay, close up. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and try it on. Alright guys, so before we start applying this, I'm going to give you the information of this one. So on this package, you get three products. It's all full size. So you get one lip gloss lip. This this is what I meant. And then the other two, so the shades are Oh Baby and Oyster Girls. Three of them are full size. They're a very, very good deal. So that's why I grabbed this. But now the exciting part, let's apply the blush. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to try the Priceless Purple on this side and see. I don't have any blush. I only have a bronzer, but I do have a lip product. And if you're curious, of course, I'm going to tell you right now. This is the Natasha Denona I Need a Rose Collection in the shade Daphne. I think I have mentioned this lipstick shade, gloss shade, and lip liner before in my video. It is so, so, so beautiful. I'm not sure if it's a limited edition. I still see it on her website, but yes, this is one of my favorite nude. If I wanted to kind of like nice and pink shade, this one is really good. Anyway, enough of that. Let's try this on. So I'm going to try it with a synthetic brush first, and then we'll see how it goes. If it doesn't look good because it is a metallic cream, we can use a sponge. So let's go ahead. I'm going to grab it just like this. This one is really nice it has that like purpley tone which is kind of scary so we'll just do a little bit like this and see how the pigmentation is okay so there's literally nothing in there um, grabbing a second time I'm just going to saturate my brush a little bit better okay so I'm seeing a little more pigment okay so there you have it okay so I'm just dabbing it around my cheek here. I'm kind of applying it just onto my higher part of my face. Because it is a metallic, it acts like a blush plus your highlighter. So I don't think you're going to need a highlighter on this one unless you really want like a glowy cheek. But this is giving you enough glow already. You see that? It's really beautiful and it's not scary, you guys. You can see I have 
I have <laughs> I put quite enough of product into the brush and this is just how much it's giving me so it's very very nice it's a very pretty it gives me this glass skin look and it's 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 beautiful this is the thing that I think okay well let's talk about it later but I am just really impressed how glassy and glowy my skin is without looking like oily. You know what I mean? Um, well, I reviewed, let's just talk about it now. <laughs> I reviewed um, Patrick Ta sort of highlighter kind of powdery recently and that one did not do well and I did not like it because I do think that it looks very balmy, oily, like greasy on my skin. This thing, it's I think that's what it exactly I wanted that to be like this look at that so it's just glowy but it's not like super balmy like it's not like my face is soaking with oil you know what I mean <laughs> all right so that is the application I'm going to build up I'm talking too much you know stop <laughs> you guys have to let me know if I'm talking too much you leave a comment down below okay I'm going to build up here this is the second sort of build up and what you can do is you can also try to put the blush in one place if you want the pigment on that area you can just kind of apply that and try to blend it upward if you just want a little bit of that fade away application but that is that is so beautiful oh my goodness oh my goodness that is stunning wow okay let me give you a swatch is this oh my goodness okay so that is the swatch on my finger right there but i'm also going to give you a swatch over here of course and there you have it see it's nice it's really 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 pretty i can see a little bit of double chromy ish so there's a, like a purpley a little bit of pinkish in there it doesn't disturb my base which is perfect and if you feel like you have too much glow if you feel like this is not good for you you can always dab your sponge around it just to set it and also to remove a little bit of that glow if you want but that's perfect for me also when i swatch it i can already tell the way how the product feels it's a bit more dense but you can see the balmy creamy glow in it the one the patrick ta one it's very soft for me so let's go ahead and try the other shade i'm excited because this one is coral and i kind of love this shade as well because it complements my tone a lot so this is how it looks like and i'm going to use a different brush i'm going to use this one this is synthetic from real technique and i'm grabbing that one too so first of course we gotta be careful every time you're trying a new blush that you are not familiar with the pigment you don't want to put too much at first you just kind of see where that is sitting or like what kind of formula do they have so this one because even sometimes it, it's the same collection some of the product are actually different pigmentation so you just keep that in mind okay so that is the first layer Ooh, that looks really nice too I love that okay let's do a second layer so this one i can say for sure that it is sort of the same pigment it's not like this is way pigmented than the first shade that we tried okay so dabbing it again and you know you can try to just do a little bit of stroke but most likely if it's a cream product you just want it to dab it in especially if it's metallic because you want to like press 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 but not spreading you know there you have it oh that's so pretty too oh my god i'm in trouble well i'm not in trouble because i have it but i really love it <laughs> i love this kind of stuff especially when it works and it doesn't disturb my base <laughs> um yeah i'm singing because i love it okay you guys that is so pretty okay i'm just gonna add a little bit of color here because that's when i want a bit more pigment okay so the glow my goodness take a look at that it's so beautiful and it's really gonna go 
really well with this tulip product right here. So I'm going to give you a swatch. So this is the coveted coral. And then I'm going to swatch it right here. And that's how it looks like. So on this collection, there is three shades that comes with it. I think the other one is more of like a a brown bronze color. I swatched it in the store and I did not like the way how it looks like. It was too too dark of a brown for me and I feel like these two are more of, you know, you can wear almost every day. It's very holiday. But now I wanted to try the lip product. So let me remove this one. Okay, now let's try the lip product. So first, just in case you guys are not familiar with the lip gloss or you don't have it and you want to see it, I still wanted to try it on for you guys. But this is a long kind of OG from MAC. So I wanted to try it on just so you see in case. But yes, it's very, very popular. And I'm just going to put it on there. So it's just this kind of gloss that it's a little bit sticky but it's not giving you this spider kind of web when you talk but also the amount of reflection to this lip gloss it's so freaking gorgeous like it's just so beautiful i mean you can see how much that elevates my makeup without looking like wearing too much of a lip product so that's why it's just so gorgeous and this is the lip gloss from mac that's why I have to get it <laughs> because I really love it. So you can put this one on top of your lipstick. If you want to wear it by itself, you can see how gorgeous it is. You can wear a lip liner on this one, but with a gloss, you can kind of like skip the, the lip liner if you just want a little bit of simple, a little bit of that lip natural color. This is perfect. This is gorgeous. So now I'm going to try the other one. Okay, let's try the first shade. This is the Oyster Girl. Ooh, exciting. I love this one. Okay, let's see. Okay, so that is the swipe. It's giving me this like... Golden lilac pinkish color on my lips. Okay, so that is the oyster girl you can see it's very reflective you can see it's a little bit white on my lips because of that shimmer or like the sort of glittery that's on the gloss and if you feel like you put too much on your lips you can always just kind of remove it yeah they're just a perfect amount of stickiness so this one I prefer, honestly, if I were to wear this one, I might as well just wear the lip gloss because the lip gloss, it gives me this glossy, very reflective lips, but it, it's just almost like very natural, just so pretty. And this, I will need a lip liner if I were to wear this as well because of that sort of white or pinkness that it's kind of reflecting. It looks like I am pale. So I'm going to use a lip liner that is a brown so that I can kind of give you this balance and dimension on the lips. Okay, so I just applied the lip liner and by the way, don't try to apply your lip liner once you put your gloss. <laughs> apply your lip liner before the gloss because it's slippery, right? So that is the first gloss. Not very wowing for this shade, but let's try the second one. Okay, so this time I already applied my lip liner. It's a lot easier and you can see that there is <laughs> dimension right there. So let's try this pretty one. I hope this one is a bit better. All right, you guys, what do you think? So the lip liner definitely help a lot with giving this lip product or lip gloss a dimension it is warmer so that's why it kind of changed my makeup but i would say that this lip gloss is going to look good with this and that's why i was like thinking i should get it and this one here is going to look good with this blush you just have to have the right makeup the right color the right clothes and everything of course if you are wearing makeup you need to consider what eyeshadow what blush you are wearing that's why I kind of think that this pair is going to look good with this blush and 
with this blush as well so you can see and of course I really love the lip blush so now let's move on and give you my final thought because this collection is actually a really really good deal so the blushes of course it's perfect I really love you can see how much that glow is giving me without accentuating my texture I have a texture right on my cheek right here so you can see that's just giving me this glassy look and the two other lip gloss I mean this one is really nice it's giving me this warm kind of more of an elegant look this one it would be nice but I'm not wowing like I'm not like oh wow this is really really good but it's just going to look good with the blush if you ever to get it and if you are a fan of lip glass and you want it this is perfect like this two are already worth it for the price plus you're getting this you know you can always work on it but for me it's just not like wow but these two are really good and the blushes so that is my final thought and again thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy this video let me know in the comment section down below which is your favorite blush and lip combo so thank you again guys for watching and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and I will see you on my next video. Bye guys!